it's Cam for Titania, and today we have a browser test on the Motorola XT860, also known as the Droid 3 or Milestone 3. Um, I forgot to do any sort of browser testing in my review video, which you can check out by clicking on my XT860 playlist, but I decided I'd do a dedicated video on the browser now. And I also thought I'd do a comparison to the iPhone 4 browser because the iPhone is widely known as one of the best browsers on any mobile device. So that's a pretty nice comparison to just see how well those two devices compare. So we can also, all apps in the background are closed as well as the browsers. So we can just start both of the browsers at the same time and we'll see how they do. So three, two, one, go. So iPhone's open and iPhone opened up to bookmarks and the XT860 is going into Google. So we can first off load uh, New York Times because well, it's just a pretty intensive website, so you can see they're right there, and we will go. So we're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, no 3G involved here. And the iPhone opened up to the um, full version, and the Android phone opened up to the not full version, the mobile version. So we'll scroll down here, and hopefully we can go here, full New York Times website. So... We will just reload the um, iPhone version. Well, I guess actually I gotta clear the cache now. Okay, so now I've cleared the cache and we can reload these both and do them exactly at the same time. So three, two, one, go. So we're off to the races here. The Android phone is running. Android 2.3.4, I believe, and the iPhone is running iOS 4.2 point something, or 4.3 point something. So, there you can see they're both loaded up now, and we can see how responsive they are in terms of scrolling. So, both pretty good. You can see the Android is definitely scrolling pretty well. iPhone is definitely smoother. We can do some pinch to zooming on the Android here. Pretty good. If we zoom in a bit more, so you can see a little bit closer. You can see scrolling is a little bit juddery. It's not the smoothest. It's sort of... It's not the best. Whereas on the iPhone, smoothing, scrolling and smoothing. Scrolling and smoothing. Scrolling and... Everything is spectacular. Double tapping works pretty well. So yeah, that is working definitely pretty well there. Pinching and zooming. But almost as always with these devices, iPhone is almost always a smoother scrolling experience. So, we can open up an article. Let's say this one. This in Russia one. Right, we'll just do it like this. Three, two, one, go. So, which one's going to load up first? And it looks like the. Uh, it's pretty close. And the Android finished first. And the iPhone is now finishing up. So, there we go. Android finished just before. Scrolling is smooth. Double tapping. Faster on the iPhone. I've always found Android scrolling too fast. So, working pretty well. We can open up on Gadget now. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, that's okay anyways, I guess, because we have to go to the desktop version. Oh, no, the iPhone went to the desktop version again by itself. So we'll just go to the desktop version of both, <clears throat> and then we can do a little bit of opening up articles and such. So we can open up, let's say, this article here. Three, two, one, go. The Android one does look faster. So the Android phone seems to be loading faster, but in terms of smoothness of scrolling, the iPhone is definitely winning. 
zooming, pinching and zooming. Get a little bit of checkerboarding on the iPhone sometimes. But the pinching and zooming is definitely smoother on the iPhone. We can run uh, some flash video on the Android phone. And as you can see, I gotta click this download button, then it will download the exact spot, download that piece of flash. So. There it goes. Hey guys, it's Zach from Gadget. I'm here at Fujifilm's booth at IFA. So, that's working pretty well. Fujifilm X10, which was announced earlier this week. So this is just a prototype that we have here. It's not a... So, video watching works pretty well on the X-T860, and browsing also does work pretty well. So I decided to do a quick video browsing comparison of the two phones. You can see... Browsing, I still think the iPhone's a better browser because of how much smoother it is and how much just, I just like the way it browses better. Android still is a fast browser for sure, but I don't like how it's not smooth at scrolling. Anyways, that's been Camp for Titania doing a quick browser comparison of the X-T860 to the iPhone 4, obviously. That has been one of my last videos with this device. You can check out my full playlist by clicking on your screen right now, which has all my videos of the X-T860. And for now, it's been Cam for Titania. See you guys in the next video.